into a Minnesota Department of Health fact sheet, methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, or MRSA, was first noted in 1961. The first nosocomial outbreak in the United States occurred in 1968 in Boston, Massachusetts. MRSA is a type of staph bacteria that can be found on some people's skin or in their nose. For those who develop an infection, it is resistant to many antibiotics. Traditionally, MRSA infections have been associated with hospitalization or other health care associated risk factors. However, in recent years, healthcare providers have observed MRSA infections in an increasing number of people who lack traditional healthcare associated risk factors. These people appear to have community associated infections. The Minnesota Department of Health goes on to report that community associated MRSA infections are defined as MRSA infections in people with no history of the following risk factors within the year prior to the MRSA culture date. They include no hospitalization or surgery, no permanent indwelling catheters or percutaneous medical devices, no residence in a long-term care facility, no dialysis, and no MRSA culture less than 48 hours after hospital admission. The agency also states that the majority of community-associated MRSA infections present as skin and soft tissue infections such as abscesses or cellulitis, but they can also cause other skin conditions. In rare cases, community-associated MRSA can cause invasive infections such as joint infections, necrotizing pneumonia, or septicemia. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, MRSA is usually spread in the community by contact with infected people or things that are carrying the bacteria. Anyone can get MRSA, and the risk increases with activities or places that involve crowding, skin-to-skin -skin contact, and shared equipment or supplies. Aside from medical patients already receiving care that were the traditional populations considered at risk, athletes, daycare and school students, and military personnel in barracks are considered to be at higher risk of developing this type of infection. These are just a few things to know about community-associated MRSA. To learn more about this or other microbial, infection control, industrial hygiene, environmental health, or safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.